The reason we take blood work so often is to check the counts, mainly the white count. We check white cells and red cells and platelets, so those are the things that are important to us. But white cells help you fight infection, and if those get low, then you don't have enough of them to fight an infection, and that's something we would worry about. Also, if it gets too low, the next time you come in for chemotherapy, we may have to hold it because it is too low. So that's something very important that we, we always check on. A couple of the words you're going to hear a lot are nadir count and neutropenia. Both of those have to do with the white counts. When the white counts drop, it drops usually, most chemo seven to 10 days after you've had chemotherapy, those counts will drop quite low. When they do, that's called a nadir count. And the word nadir actually means valley. That's when your counts drop and then they will come back up. The other word you hear is neutropenic which neutropenia means that your counts are low, your white counts are low. When your counts are low, your white counts especially, this is when you can catch more infections and when you don't have the ability to fight off infections. Platelets are something in your blood that helps your blood to clot should you cut yourself or if you have some sort of a gash, you know, a graze on you, then you would bleed much more easily if those platelets are low. So those are also something that we keep a, an eye on when we, when we draw your blood. Because if they are too low, obviously it can be very serious if you were to fall and have, and have a bad fall, you could bleed quite, quite badly. If those platelets are low, and if they're terribly low, what you'll see is a rash, a pinpoint rash on your body, and that lets you know that they're low. Sometimes bruising is another way that we can tell that they're low. Also, if your platelets are low, let us know if you have any un unusual bleeding. Nose bleeds, when you brush your teeth if it bleeds, any blood in your urine or stool, those are things that we need to know about. And if they get very low, you may have to have platelets as a transfusion um, over at the hospital.